the physical representation of the spiritual word of God literally unfolding before our very eyes every single day in every aspect of our lives and those of you who have the spiritual eyes and ears to comprehend what I'm talking about will understand these very words today that I speak of you see saints true saints of the most high God are not of this world and so we can expect to be lonely to be isolated especially in places like this at the right times of the year we don't operate under the powers of this world and the perceptions they place us under and so when we visit places like this at the wrong times of the year according to worldly standards we will be isolated we will be set apart And so these places of higher worship in the world, speaking of religion, if they can keep us from being set apart from the multitudes and keep us in a state of subjection, physical as well as spiritual enslavement, the enemy gains his upper hand over us in terms of keeping us from doing God's true will and serving our true God-given purpose they consider places like this as uninhabitable this time of the year for swimming it's not a very popular time of the year to be in this part of the world it's lonely, it's isolated, but so is the journey in following Christ. And so you can apply these great analogies when you visit places like this, because spiritually, it truly is a physical representation of what we expect. There are many people in this world who claim to be religious, but you won't find them on the same path that I'm walking, speaking in a spiritual way in a spiritual sense. You won't see them fighting the good fight of faith. We are to embrace persecution and danger. We are to put all of our cares in the Most High. 